Mike Roger. I'm here at the Green Rush Financial Conference, and with me now is James Black from the Canadian Securities Exchange. James, thanks very much for being here. Thanks for having me, Mike. So, CSE, there's a number of companies that are in the medical marijuana space that are listed on the CSE. Yep. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about those companies? Yeah, I mean, as a reflection of what we have here at the show today, it's really a broad sector of companies within a sector. So we've got companies like Supreme Pharmaceuticals, Abattis Biceuticals, Afinor Resources, um, Next Gen Metals, who's actually hosting the conference today. So it's a sector that's still figuring itself out. And uh, we've become, I guess, the home to be for a lot of these companies as they enter this new interesting uh, space that we're seeing today. What about life science in general? I mean, as a, as a sector, is that a big part of uh, companies on the exchange? Uh, traditionally, not so much. I mean, our exchange is focused on earlier stage ventures, small cap, micro cap companies. Um, these companies, traditionally in the biopharma model, or the pharma model, I should say, life science model, uh, huge burn rate up front, a lot of capitalization requirements. So not necessarily the type of uh, a company that comes to CSE and raises five or $10 million, which is our sweet spot. So um, it's interesting how the medical marijuana space is sort of supplanting some of that, no pun intended, and um, you know, taking a different approach and maybe a, a lower cost approach to alleviating some problems uh, in the health industry that, that traditionally costs a lot of money to try to, to cure. Right, yeah, because I guess with the medical marijuana guys, there isn't the upfront research that a normal pharmaceutical type company would have to do. Yeah, I mean, again, I'm not an expert in the life science sector, but as we all know, marijuana, it's a plant that grows in the ground. Uh, you know, it's like farming. So I guess a lot of these resource entrepreneurs have a good position in this marketplace because they, they are specialists in getting things out of the ground. Um, so we'll see how that all plays out, but I think there's some novel concepts and there's some progressive concepts here that we can apply to, uh, to the healthcare system that hopefully come from some good public companies. Good stuff. So just talking about the CSE in general, I know that you've got a number of tech companies uh, and obviously a lot of the, the mining resource companies. Can you give us an idea of what the sector split is? Yeah, so if you looked at our uh, sector breakdown on the exchange, it's probably what you'd be familiar to on the other venture exchange that you'd see uh, in Toronto. Um, and, and what we typically see is around 40 to 45% in the uh, mineral exploration space. Now some of that's transitioning into other businesses. Um, but the, the most, uh, or the second uh, leading sector would be technology. So about 20% of our companies on the exchange are technology companies. And the most interesting thing about technology on CSE is they double an average market cap per company versus any of the other sectors on our exchange. So it's actually really a, it's a growing space on our own marketplace that we're uh, really proud of. Good. Um, and I know there's been a lot of changes at the CSE lately. Can you bring us up to date on the more, more recent ones? Yeah, so everyone's probably familiar with the fact that we changed our name from CNSX to CSE. Uh, we've injected some new leadership uh, in the guise of Mr. Ned Goodman, Dundee Corporation. Um, just today we put out a press release announcing that we are now a recognized foreign exchange uh, in the eyes of the OTC Markets Group. So this is another great step in us having parity with the other exchanges, uh, not just in Canada, but internationally. And uh, we hope to announce more developments around how U.S. investors can access our marketplace through this new arrangement. So that's really exciting. We're trying to make the exchange more friendly for retail investors, make it more, uh, more of a destination for listed companies that want to come here, grow their business, and uh, do it in the most efficient way possible. Great. Okay, well, that's all I've got. So thanks again for being here. This is Mike from Resource or from uh, Cannabis Investing News here at the Green Rush Financial Conference. Thanks very much. Thanks, Mike.